My name is Mary Gaucher, and uh, since March, I am a live streaming troubadour. <laughs> I travel the world virtually on a live stream every Sunday at 2 o'clock Central from this office. Um, prior to the COVID uh, pandemic, um, I uh, consider myself a singer-songwriter, troubadour, travel the world, an author, a recording artist, a teacher, uh, a mentor, uh, a music fan, um, and uh, someone who, uh, who lives and breathes creativity. That's my gig. You uh, brought to this project uh, Odie Lindsay, um, and you decided that you wanted to uh, write a brand new song responding to uh, his work. What uh, what brought the Odie to your mind, and and what made you think that um, he was the right person for you to you know create a brand new work of art around? He has a collection uh, uh, prior to this work of fiction of short stories, and uh, I devoured them from written from. Uh, the perspective of different characters, most of them veterans, are people affected by the uh, wars in the Middle East. Uh, Odie is a veteran himself, uh, and I connected with him when I was writing uh, with veterans and their families through the Songwriting with Soldiers program. Um, his story is immensely interesting to me. He was a, a grunt in the Middle East, and a care package came over uh, addressed to any soldier. It was a box of the complete works of, of Vonnegut. <laughs> it ended up in his hands, and from there he knew, it was like a light bulb screwing in, that he wanted to be a writer. The story is so interesting to me because the wounded veteran um, is a woman. And the, the steadfast, true dedicated through love character to the veteran is a man. Yeah. You know, the good old boy, the best of old boys uh, found her and she found him. Um, and it, it flips the narrative, which is interesting to me, really interesting to me and interesting to Mississippi and Louisiana. It, it was a, an interesting choice that Odie makes in having Colleen, like she must have, asked uh, her best friend to run away with her or marry her three times within the narrative. Well, straight women do that all the time. <laughs> it, Is that no, true? They no. never ask me to run away with them or marry them. <laughs> well, they ask their best friend because how many times has a straight woman said, God, I need a wife. Um, we all need a wife. You wrote a song called Then Go Home. Um, mm -hmm. And I wondered like, where in the book were you like, aha, I know where I'm headed with this. How, I, I know how to encapsulate this long, cause you know, songwriting it seems to me is about compression, is about taking a, a, a broader theme or in this case a book and making it, you know, as small and as compact and as, you know, scintillating as you can. What moment in the book, um, when did you know you had it and, and, and how? I didn't. <laughs> I, I, every page I turned, I was starting to sweat. And I was like, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, I can't fail. I, I don't know what I'm doing. And um, uh, this song actually ended up being a co-write. I was working on this song uh, with um, a dear friend of mine from Northern Ireland named Ben Glover. We've written together for years and he's one of my favorite co-writers. Uh, and we were stuck. We had no narrative for this song that we had this beautiful chorus, but we didn't have a narrative. I had the idea, meet me in the meadow. We mm -hmm. can look up at the stars, lean into the wind, dream again, find out who we are. That's all I had. It's lovely. It just dropped right into the end of this book. Where right. I, that, I'm, this song is me imagining after the book ends, what is, what is she going to do? That's what we do, you know? We close a book of this that that's so good that a, a book of this nature and okay imagine what happens next i want i want derby and colleen to get back together i want i want her to to be a mom to the to the twins and i want her to just settle in you know pitchland mississippi is as good a place as any yeah. and yeah. um she has love there 
there's a quote, uh, he who learns must suffer. And even in our sleep, pain that cannot forget falls drop by drop upon the heart. And in our own despair, against our will, comes wisdom to us through the awful grace of God. People are going to say, the awful grace of God? What are you talking about, Gaucher? I'm, I'm, I'm talking about suffering. Yeah. At the end of our suffering, we do find grace, if we're lucky.